absolutely beautiful um, grey day. It's very warm, um, which is a bit disappointing uh, because it's less likelihood that we're going to get any snow. But we can see patches up the top there. So it looks absolutely beautiful. falling backwards because I went underneath a, uh, a tree. So this is Crater Lake with the boathouse. It is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We're heading up the top there. Up and over the top. Yeah. we've just made it to our first little stop which is Crater Lake and a little boathouse just giving our thighs a rest after the burn of um, walking up those steps it was pretty pretty tough my pack's about 20 kilos and Lance is must be getting close to the same um, so there it's pretty you know tough going because we've got about probably six kilos each of food um, which makes it, um, you know, it, it'll get easier. But this is the toughest day because we're climbing up Marion's Lookout shortly, which um, isn't too easy to walk yourself up. So it um, definitely is the, the tough part, and at least we get that done on the first day. And then we start eating our foods. Here, and we're not even halfway up. There. Okay, so we're up on the first section before we have to go up Marion's Lookout. And down there, you can see the new, there's a new visitor centre in what used to be the old car park for Dove Lake, and uh, that's finished now. So it sits quite nicely down there in the environment. Um, Dove Lake over to the right, Wombat Pool, and we've just come up over Crater Lake. And you can see where we came from, right down there at Ronnie Creek. And that's where we've got to um, dragging ourselves up on the chain. So that's going to be quite a challenge. You can see all this beautiful weather.
Oh. Right, so a little bit more to get up the top. There is Maui. It's so much fun, but I'm struggling because my backpack is like a sail, and so I'm really, really it doesn't knock me over. Okay, we are up at Marion's Lookout, looking back down into Cradle Lake, and now we've got to head follow the poles. I'm trying to get the kitchen hut and break. That was a tough climb for me because of the wind. Um, every time I sort of lifted my knee to go to the next step, the wind would blow. So, uh, yes, but it had to uh, I did sail. Valley there. Little break in the cloud and almost looks like a bit of sunshine. Hmm. So much calmer over here compared to warmer too, look up there. Maybe. This is a very pretty section of the track. We're heading towards Waterfall Valley Hut. And oh, we feel so much more relaxed after getting out of the wind. And um, yeah, we've had a few stops to rest our hips and our backs. Um, and now it's just, um, you know, we're sort of seeing more of the landscape because the clouds lifting a bit. It's just lovely. One of our little, many little rest stops. <laughs> I think we're stopping probably every 800 metres or so, just um, because we're going uphill still um, and we don't want to miss the beautiful view every now and again the clouds clear um, and it's just stunning. And we're the only ones out here, we saw one girl called Cheryl and she was heading also to Waterfall Valley Hut but she was young and fast so she went um, ahead of us so we said we'd catch up with her um, but she's only staying there tonight and then walking back out. Uh, tomorrow back down to Ronnie Creek.
here we are getting into Waterfall Bay Hut. And we are both exhausted. We left, we got the first shuttle at 8.45 this morning on the track just after 9. And um, I've got no idea what the time is right now, but be must be coming into under 4. We only stopped at Kitchen Hut for a short rest. Um, so yeah, we have, um, with these heavy packs on our backs, we have found the going quite tough. But we've got this lovely Waterfall Valley Hut coming into view.